Russell Wilson has been traded to the Denver Broncos. A new quarterback, a new coach, and a new owner. This is going to be a completely new Broncos team. There's a lot of pressure that we're giving our fans these really cool, memorable moments at Empower Field. Everyone wants to see Russell Wilson run out of the tunnel, and I don't blame them. And at quarterback from Wisconsin, number three. Three, two, one. Um, so my name is Chris Hathaway. I'm a director at Turf and Grounds uh, here at Empower Field at Mile High. Been here for 13 football seasons. Majority of my job is the day-to-day -day maintenance for the field. So today, uh, the day before the game, we did another mow this morning to kind of crisp up that mowing pattern a little bit. We're uh, just kind of finishing up painting, so we're doing uh, white trim in the end zones around our letters. We're putting white um, in our horse heads. We love to paint logos. That's one of the big things on the home opener. The weather's nice, the logos are out there on Sunday, and then it starts out the year really, really nice. We got our paint bay where we're mixing all our paint. So these are 375 gallons of paint inside these. Um, obviously our normal, our normal white. Um, we have Broncos orange, it's a certain color. So we're always renovating this field. We're always planting seed. Um, it's either before a game, we throw it out just so the players are kind of chewing it into that soil. So this is our divot mix. So after the game, uh, we'll sweep the field the next day. We'll come in and we'll start filling divots with this so they don't roll an ankle for the next game and then just re-getting that grass back for the next game. The day before a game, we're wrapping up everything. So everything starts on Monday and Tuesday of game week and kind of ends on Saturday and then the game. Um, once Sunday hits, they get a play on it and then we come back in on Monday morning and, and put it all back together for the next game. Welcome everybody. We're gonna today put 76,000 towels into cup holders. There you go. Great job. Okay, I'll introduce work. All right, my name is Liz Coates. I am the game entertainment manager for the Denver Broncos. Game ball delivery in three, two, one. I'm producer and show caller, so I have a seat in the control room that overlooks the field. All right, everyone in the control room ready for parade of colors. I'm on headset, not only with everyone in the control room, but also all of our folks on field. I'm talking to our director, our DJ, our PA announcer, graphics playback, some of our cameras, our hosts, to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Standby on Thunderstorm. We are jumping in about 15 seconds. They are very high pressure and stressful situations. I think my calm demeanor helps bring calm to the situation. You ready for another sack? So after we finish this, the towel distribution, at about two o'clock, we have our practice jump with our thunderstorm skydiving team. We are one of the only teams to have their own skydiving team. Every single game, we have a skydiving team that jumps and lands on our field. So today for practice, we're really just checking to make sure that our camera works. Our first jumper will jump in with a live camera pack that connects to our scoreboards. And it looks like our camera is maybe not working. Nice, Andy. They're all down. Looks good. You just need to figure out that camera, but it looks good. Every time that we come into the stadium, we have to absolutely take into account all the conditions, uh, the winds, the direction of the wind, and then also the unexpected. And that's why we jump 24 hours prior, so we have the best chance of being current within 24 hours. Another day in the office. My name is Chris Valenti and I'm the head equipment manager of the Denver Broncos. On Saturdays we'll have a team walk through. After that we have to rally, get the truck loaded, and we come to the stadium, unload the truck and set everything up. How's it going? I got my kids with me today. I got a senior in high school, sophomore in high school, and a first grader. 
The older ones are really helpful. <laughs> the younger one, well, he helps too. So I'm here at Russell's locker getting ready to take out all of his equipment. In the top pocket here, we have a couple of choices for his thigh pads. He's got conditioning shoes, his helmet, mouthpiece, his glasses that he uses to warm up with, his game cleats, his big orange fan, knee braces, shoulder pads, and then his shower shoes. Three pairs of undershirts, three pair another style. I'll put his wristbands up here at the top. Same thing with his quarterback towels. His two hats ready to go. He wears one usually to warm up and then he'll come back. After he sweats that one out, he'll come in and get a fresh one. We set up each player locker individually. We set up the entire coach at locker room so that they all have what they need. 24 hours leading up to the kickoff is actually kind of the tail end of the work for us. So it's kind of, you, you hope the hay is in the barn at that point. I'm always a little nervous on game day. You just never know. Um, you always double check everything, make sure you got everything right on your end. Um, it's 6.15, um, eight hours to kick off. Uh, should be a beautiful day in Colorado today. Hopefully Broncos get a win. Big thing on game day is just moisture management. Um, we don't want it too, too soft or too wet or too dry and too hard. Um, so we just kind of always play this little moisture game. Field, uh, hopefully the field plays well, plays safe, um, plays fast, um, which it should today. So I normally arrive, I would say, five to six hours prior to kickoff. I have a huge wagon full of press box setup, credentials, armbands, you name it. And I immediately go up to the press box before the chaos starts. And this is our press box. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Megan Boyle. I'm the Strategic Communications Manager with the Denver Broncos. I need to set up the entire press box and that all needs to be done within the next hour. So making sure that seating cards are down, making sure that the food is out for media, really kind of preparing the press box as if it's my own house. So I'm welcoming guests, I'm in that cleaning mode, making sure that everything is going to be of perfection as soon as that first media member walks into the press box. Ready for a week two in the National yes. Football League 2022 oh, season? It's a rhetorical ready. question. We are ready. We are. Yeah! yeah. yeah. It's right. Yeah. About six hours to kick off, and right now we're putting jerseys on all the pads that have Velcro on them because it's not a. It's easier when it's a two-person gig rather than a one-person. Make sure these things are sucked down as tight as they can be. Players put the Velcro, it used to be tape, but now it's Velcro on their jerseys so that they can't be grabbed, so that their jersey doesn't have any loose fabric, so they linemen don't have an advantage on the defensive guys and vice versa. It's kind of like a Formula One pit stop is what we try and do it like. <laughs> These are Jerry Judy's cleats. Jerry didn't get uh, a pair of orange cleats, so he had me paint some cleats for him. Before, these cleats looked like this, and then I painted them, so now he has a pair of orange cleats for the game. All right, I'm just checking out lockers now at this point in time. Make sure everything's visible when they come in. Make sure the locker looks great. Some guys have stuff they bring from home. Kareem Jackson has his jersey of DTs that he brings. And then after that, it's the players, the coaches. They're going to be showing up here in a couple hours. They're going to be ready to go, and it's our job to be ready for them to show up. Scott Bleak, uh, assistant general manager here at the stadium. My main thing on uh, game day operations is handling all the team-related stuff, home and visiting, all game operations. Uh, that includes all the field-related stuff, all of the front of the house security and guest relations staff, um, pretty much anything that you can or don't see on a game day that's behind the house as well. You know, I've been here since day one, so this is what we do and this is what we prepare for all year long is for home opener kickoffs. Bishop's gonna come down, we'll screen it. The one we're bringing down right now is to check a trunk that doesn't fit through the x-ray machine. What's up, Lauren? You good? Oh, overview of setup that's going on down here. Uh, make sure the benches are all good. Everything's looking pretty good today. I'm running a small city here now on game day. Uh, if you put all the 77,000 fans here, it's more capacity than a downtown city block on the busiest day of the week. This is our heaviest gate of ingress. We'll put about 13,000 people through gate 10 today.
My name is Gabriel Christus and I am the team photographer for the Denver Broncos. I have been covering the Denver Broncos for 13 years. Over that time, I have learned how players react to certain situations and how the light changes throughout the stadium and how to best capture all of that. Broncos fans are looking for photographs of certain players. When it was Peyton Manning, it was all Peyton Manning or Von Miller. And now we have Russell Wilson to be that star player and people just can't get enough of Russ. It's about 10.30, it's about four hours to kick off. That's usually when I start uh, shooting players coming in for on arrivals. So Russ is gonna come through this way. I'm gonna shoot him back just so you guys know. Dave, you ready? All right, let's go full rehearsal in three, two, one. The big thing is just our anthem timing because we have a flyover today. We want to make sure that we have a, a consistent performance from our anthem singer. Michael, I can already tell she's going to have to speed up. Like a lot. For the flyover group, I keep track of where she's at in each line of the song so that I know if she's slow or fast. So we've got to shape almost 20 seconds. We said flyover at 2.21 and 50 seconds. So my job is to make sure that I'm cueing each of those individuals so that we have a chance of hitting that TOT at the end of the song. The way I got to be the writer was Sharon Magnus Blake called me and, and she said, we're having a little trouble with Thunder. Would you be willing to ride him on the field? Well, I had to stop for just a second <laughs> so that I didn't go, oh my gosh. But I did stop for just a second and then I said, yes, Sharon, I would love to do that. Thank you for asking. And it's been really life changing. And now please welcome the Denver Broncos to the field. when I got to carry the 509 flag for Peyton Manning, Manning but when he broke the record. And make room for the new king, Broncos fans. You have just witnessed history. I was really proud and excited to be able to be part of that moment. Of course, the Super Bowls. The Denver Broncos are world champions, they have won. Did we love Super Bowl 50 the most? Sure. Shannon Sharp really uh, sticks in my head. And there was one time when he scored a touchdown and he ran through the end zone and came up to Thunder and kissed him on the nose. Uh, no, 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 okay, no. who to? Uh, Kaylee? We take Thunder up a couple of hours before the game and people are capable of taking their pictures with Thunder, petting Thunder. Is this your first game, Kaylee? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh! Games. Did you give Thunder a pat? Because no. first gamers have so much luck, you have to go give them a lucky oh, pat. Happened? Say good luck, Thunder. Hey, it's two hours till kickoff, so we're gonna stay out here and greet the fans for another 15 minutes, and then we're gonna head on in and get saddled up. It's a beautiful day for football. Good afternoon, everybody, and we welcome to a sun-drenched Empower Field at Mile High as today the Denver Broncos open their home schedule of the 2022 regular season, hosting the Houston Texans. Go, go Broncos! 
It's opening day, 77,000 people expected here at Power Field at Mile High. We're excited, excited for gates to get open and start feeling that energy build up till uh, we get to the crescendo at, at kickoff. We got 20 minutes until gates open. Uh, everybody's starting to queue up outside in the lines. Things are moving well at this point in time. Make some noise, Broncos country, show your love. My name is uh, William Burns and I am a security officer here at Empower Field at Mile High. Uh, my role with the team is sort of like a gatekeeper to all players, personnel, and media who uh, need access onto the field. This tunnel is the most important tunnel because the Bronco players come out this tunnel, media, coaches, and important staff members. Okay. So now that it's 90 minutes prior to kickoff, we allow our pregame field pass individuals to come onto the field. We just like to take a lap, making sure that all of our guests are fine. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, hi Michael, nice suit. So I'm just keeping an eye out for any of our media members, specifically our photographers, just to kind of confirm that they have everything that they need. Susie, hi, Hello. all good? Yes, all good. Okay. Is there a flyover today? There is. Okay. Just making sure if like I can be a resource to them or anyone in our PEA department can be a resource for them, we're here. So it's 111, kickoff is at 225, so we're almost at an hour. A little bit over an hour, 60 minutes to kick. So we're getting down to the wire now. The next hour is gonna get hectic, it's gonna get crazy down here. Excitement, man, and the fans down here is gonna get electric. Oh, man, I gotta turn this music off. <laughs> My claim to fame uh, before kickoff is uh, I get pretty rowdy and excited with the players. It's kind of a ritual. <laughs> Let's go, win on three. One, two, three, three. Great scene in Denver for Russell Wilson's first home game as a Bronco between Denver and Houston. In three, two, one, welcome and go Connor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a power field at Mile High. And let's go Burroughs! 20 minutes to kick off! We're getting ready to deliver the game ball! Go Broncos! Game ball delivery in three, two, one, and go Connor. Here comes Thunder! So then we go flying across the field and we do the game ball delivery. And then from there, we immediately load into the tunnel. Stand by on Thunderstorm. Go Thunderstorm. Are we getting their camera? Awesome. That is really cool. Right. Fairly soon after that, Thunder comes roaring out of the tunnel with the team following. Go Thunder, go Connor. Hands on your feet for your 2022 Denver Broncos. Stand by for starters. I told you. Like a man. All right, let's go starters. Introducing the starting offense for your Denver Broncos. At wide receiver from Alabama, number 10. And send up. Terry Tooney. Number 33, Javante Williams. Go Connor. And wide receiver from Southern Methodist, number 14, Portland Sutton. Russell Wilson will be the final player out. So we'll really be able to give our fans an opportunity to welcome him. Go Connor. And at quarterback from Wisconsin, number three, Russell Wilson! Go 
Well, as you would expect, a rousing ovation for the Broncos offense. My favorite moment in game day is the national anthem. Stand by for anthem in three, two, one, go Connor. I love the energy that our fans bring. And cure. Can you see by the dawn's She's a little slow. The field is in immaculate condition. It looks like the putting green and an expensive country club. It smells like football here today. I'm not necessarily an NFL player, but I have a part in an NFL game. It's exciting. It makes me feel great. We always remind ourselves and everyone else that we are just, we're just part of the team and we want to make the team look better and we want to enhance the game day experience for all the fans. It's going to work. This C-130 is going to be right on time. All right. Incredible. Perfect. I love that moment, that pause right after the anthem. If we have a flyover and everyone just takes that moment to enjoy, they take it in and there's this collective breath. This is a rowdy place right now. A lot of anticipation yes. for this one. Let's go! As Russell Wilson makes his home debut. As Brandon McManus squeezes the football, places it on the tee. McManus gets the sign from the officials, and we are ready to rock in Denver. 